Welcome back to another episode, guys. If you didn't see last week's episode, you should go check it out up here. We got Sydney, a project car. It's a 1991 Honda Civic Si. And there's a couple things that we need. For one, we really could use a hood. This hood is all dinged up. There's also some interior pieces that we're missing. So we got a list of stuff we need. Luckily, there is a 91 Honda Civic and Nashville's pull apart. So we're heading up there to go check that out. It's an 89. <laughs> this is also Sydney's first time at a junkyard, which is pretty exciting. I've got all the tools ready to go, so let's head up there. Thank you. You're welcome. We made it. And I finally have a camera that can zoom. Let's see. We'll walk by the guy. I do. Thanks, man. <laughs> Just got a subscriber. <laughs> so what? Bro. 320. All right. Sure enough. Well, there's no hood, but this is in good shape. So maybe I'll just come back and cut this since it's already here in the junkyard. And there's no rust. It still has a factory rubber liner. Whoa. Oh, there's rust. Um, if you do have a Honda, this is still on there. Take it off. Take it off. <laughs> this has makes rust come. So, learn lesson for Sydney. Don't be this guy. We kind of needed this dash. Someone destroyed it. Don't do that, junkyards. Don't be an ass. No hood. We got some plastic pieces though. Um, I'm about to grab the uh, forks off of it for my car. And also might grab the knuckles for Ryan. So, but other than that, kind of a bust, but oh well. Sydney's first time in the junkyard. Somehow we come for parts for me and end up with more parts for Jared. So we weren't able to get parts for Sydney. Well, we got some plastic pieces, but not the stuff we really wanted to get. But I need parts. So I need this fork, which is an EF fork on my blue wagon. I have EG forks because the air struts were for an EG. So I need to grab this and then Ryan needs these knuckles. If you remember in a couple videos back he got some knuckles shortened it ended up not being enough for him because he's a stance boy and so i'm gonna grab them for him and grab these and then that should be it there is a manual d series transmission that i really want to grab but i don't feel like getting that dirty so we'll grab this stuff and then head out of here so we're back they had a sedan here and the steering wheel is in great shape so sydney is going to take it off not me First thing, you need to take that out. Okay. Apparently Sydney doesn't need a flathead. No. Okay, so there's a bolt in there, or a nut in there that we need to get out. Okay. So is that loosening? I have no clue. Click the trigger. Yes. Okay. It's going to the left. So stick it in there. Okay. Make sure it's on it. Okay. Hit the trigger a little bit and push forward. Okay. It's okay. on it. Okay. Let it rip. Just keep going? Yeah. All right, should be out. Okay. Now, yank on the steering wheel. It should. Okay. Now there's a plug. Okay. Right there. Yeah. Okay. I'll hold the steering wheel. You can disconnect it. How do I disconnect? Okay. So you see, see right there. Yeah. You have to push it. Okay. <clears throat> There you go. Okay. Sydney so got her steering wheel. Mm -hmm. It's in pretty good shape. Uh, a little bit. It's a little loose. We might be able to fix it. But it's a lot better than what's in there. Cool. We got everything we need. Sydney's got our steering wheel. There's a little bracket right there that we needed. So time to get some food and go back home and install this stuff. So we just got back. Got everything unloaded. We also got little Ryan out here. These are all the parts we got for Sydney. We got Sydney a 90 to 91 steering wheel, little radiator bracket, two covers for the rear strut towers, 
This is the cover for the pop-out window bracket. This is for the ignition switch, little O-ring, and then the battery tray. Now we'll let Sydney install everything. First, she so gotta take that out, which is the strut tower brace. We don't need that. <laughs> it should be the same size, is it not? I don't know. Yeah. Okay. And then put your hand on the back of this. Mm. Makes it more stable. <laughs> Yay. All right. Four more. Three more? Three more. All right, we got four out. Now you should just be able to grab it out. Yay! Now, I need covers, and I just pop right in. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We gotta put those back on. <laughs> Gosh, Jared. So you just hand screw them on, and then okay. zip them on with that thing. All right, yep. And you're on number two, yeah. so it won't strip anything. So you just go in until it goes, t -t 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 -t, and then you just do it on all of them, and that's pretty tight. Okay. Put your hand on the back. Okay. Bam. Orion, move. Go, 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 go. Get your toy. Get your toy. He's got two. He doesn't know which one he wants. Orion, which one do you want? Which one do you want? That's the front yard one. That's the back yard one. <laughs> Alright, so those just pop in. Okay. Uh, yes, they are. They should be the. Uh, flip it on the back. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay. And then that one's easier because the back portion's broke. Okay. So you do the top ones on the side. Bam! Okay, now I gotta clip that one in. Because this one was good for some reason. So just look at the tabs on it. Yeah. And so you do the same thing slide those in and then try to pop the other ones. How does this even go? Okay. Gasket, take the key out, and then you're gonna. Which way? It doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, Shit, it does matter. <laughs> this this side goes out front. Okay. And you just wiggle it in there. Yeah. Okay. I don't know if I can do this well. I don't think I've ever done one of these, so you're on your own. <laughs> One hour later. Want some teamwork? We got it. Now they get the steering wheel out. The steering wheel's not too ugly, but this top is trashed. So, you might keep it. Maybe there's a way to refinish these that I don't know about. And we'll end up having to refinish the new one that we got because it's still bending on the top too where it's uh, came loose, so. But let's get it swapped. Yeah, that one's in there. Fixed. And I've got these flat heads. Okay. This one might be better. I got it. Okay. Alright. We need the 19. Okay. Same thing, put your hand on the back. Okay. Okay. You can leave it in there. Okay. This one's basic. There's no cruise control, so there's no 
wiring. Yeah. <laughs> Sit. Good boy. <laughs> Just tuck it in there and it should be fine. Fish it back out. So, see the little buttons at the bottom? Yeah. Click that. Okay. What's it on? One. Go to three. Okay. All right. So when you tighten it, same thing. When you hear the, wait like one more second when it goes, then it should be fine. Oh, it's going the right way now. Yeah. Okay. You sure? Just do it. Yeah. Okay. There you go. So get it back on the net. All right. Now you're gonna you need you need to put a lot of pressure here, mm -hmm. and then you hit the trigger. There you go. That's it. Okay. So now final piece. <laughs> you know that look a lot much 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 better. It does. So still got a little dink, but this is loose. I don't know how to fix this yet. I'm gonna look. But this whole this steering wheel, I just think it looks so much better than this. Where's the other one? Right I'll put a comparison. That one's nice, but just the four spokes, I mean it just looks so much more modern. And my Civic has it, so Got a match. Uh, what do we have left? The bracket. Okay. So pull. Tell me when you pull it. We're missing. Where does it go? This. Mm -hmm. We're missing this radiator bracket. For some reason, this part was cut. I don't know why. That's gonna be interesting to fix that. So, but we got the bracket for this. So let's get that installed. We gotta get some bolts. Cindy complained I didn't get her gloves, but I was wearing gloves. <laughs> All right. So now we gotta put this bracket on, remove that bracket to give some leeway to the radiator. So, that should go there. Yep. So, with well, these tiny ones, you gotta be easier, but that was good enough. You'll get used to it. Once you snap one, you'll be like, oh, okay, I can't go that far. <laughs> if I do, it's your fault, so. Well, you know who's fixing it. You. Yeah. <laughs> um, man, that steering wheel looks so good. I love it. You like it? Yeah. Well, other than the cruise control thing. Yeah, which I think that should just screw in so we can end up taking it off. But everything's coming together. We got that in. We got the new steering wheel. Got the strut tower out. Plastic pieces on. And the plastic piece up there. Got Orion. Oh, you switched toys. Where's your blue one? He's looking at me like, I don't know, dude. <laughs> it's cool that we found a junkyard with an EF. That's very rare. It's cool we got a lot of good parts. We have a very long list already of stuff that we're looking for. Maybe I'll put it in the description. Maybe some people can help us out. Um, next, we are going to try to get this thing running properly and make it where Sydney can at least take it on his first test drive. We've got insurance, we've got titled, so let's move on to that. So, to get this car running, we need to put the new control arm on, which finally came in. 
First things first. We gotta raise the car up. <laughs> we gotta make sure it's e brakes pulled up. E brake is pulled up. E brake's pulled up. So we're jacking it right here. This is your cross member. See that little notch thing? Mm -hmm. That's where you're gonna put it. Mm -hmm. right, hold on. <laughs> it's hitting the wall. It, it's fine. One more. Okay, one more. Alright. So, see this little notch? Mm. Yeah. You want, want it to sit right here. So I'll keep jacking it up. What little notch? See that little, that? Yeah. And then that. This is your pinch weld, and this is the reinforced part for this. You can put it here, but it more than likely is not going to hold it, and it will bend. Mm -hmm. so this is your area. So, I will jack up the rest. Huh? Okay. I'm already sweating. We need AC in this shop. And you kind of like pop it loose and you go back, just like we did with the engine hoist with the Miata. I don't know how to do all this thing. It's the same way. You're going Turn it? this way. Turn, Turn it this way. Are you going to film? I'm, it's filming. It's been going. Well, you weren't pointing it anywhere. <laughs> you'll, it'll come with time. You'll get used to it and go a little bit slower. Alright, so we'll just double check. Make sure it's on the points. See how it's right there in the middle? Yeah. Car's sturdy. Yeah. Alright, now we gotta take that off. Okay. So we gotta take this rim off. Yeah. And get up to this. Okay. Holy crap. Oh, that's crazy. Alright. So the key is this. It's for those special lug nuts. Okay. Special. You just slip it on. And that goes on there. And the same procedure. Put your hand on the back. Yep. Oh. Yep. And those lugs suck, so you'll have to screw it back on probably, okay. just by hand. I can't even okay. Yep. You've seen me do that enough at the drift events. Since your car doesn't have a nice paint job, we just go <laughs> On these cars, a 10, 12, 14, 17, you probably pretty much take apart anything. So, this top nut is more than likely a 17. They usually are. So, if you feel it, you kind of get used to it. And sooner or later, you'll just be looking at them and you'll be like, yep, yeah, that's a 17. Okay. So, let's go get a 17 to zip that off. So, we'll first try it with the breaker bar. So, you're trying to go left. So I'll usually, Back yeah, I'll right? look up and then go left or right. That's right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's the best way for me. <laughs> you just put it in there? Yeah. And then what? So, same principle. You try to pr allow pressure here so it doesn't fall off the thing and you're going to pull. Oh. Which you got lucky. It was really loose. <laughs> so we can go ahead and use the power tool. Actually, it might spin. Oh, no. Yeah, we're good. I got it. All right, get the hammer. Hammer. And then you need to. <laughs> Anything hammer needs you. Okay, here, I'll show you, but you've got to do it. I'll drop the camera. We need to open the hood, 
to get to these two nuts. Let's do it. Yep. Right there. Tap that and it should drop out. And you tap the other side. Okay. I should be able to grab it. Okay. Uh, well, I goofed and I forgot we had to take the shred out. I'm sure you can take the bolts off the uh, bushing and get this metal piece off, but I like taking the shred out. I think it's easier. You need to loosen this one. This is a nut back there. That's a 14. Scare you? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting you to give us easy. Yes. Out with the wrench. Okay. Just like that. So now. There's a dead bug. Huh? There's a dead bug. <laughs> Those beetles are annoying. Um, I need to get this fork off. Okay. So, I'm going to hammer it down. Don't hit the brake line though. You'll hit there and it'll just start, it'll just keep falling out. Okay. Okay. I don't think that's supposed to look like that. I think it's supposed to look like that. That is scary. So, let's get that guy in. Throw it? Yep, you two magic, let's go. All right, so, got the fork installed. I put control arm in, the cotter pins in. Also went ahead and mounted the brake line to the strut, but turns out they stripped the bolts that go into the actual spindle for the brake line, so we'll have to figure that out another day. Now it's time to put the tire back on and drop it on the ground. So start the go to the bottom one. So when you're tightening you do a crisscross pattern. There you go. So now I need to lower it. All right, so we got the control arm fixed. It's at least safe, safe fish to drive on the road. Start it up, take it out, take it down the road, bring it back. We started up last night and it had an idle surge, which is usually this little valve right here is the culprit. It's called the feist. It's called the fast idle throttle valve, I think. Um, and then this back here is your idle air control valve. Usually people think this is the problem, but most of the time it's this, and most of my Honda career it's been this. So, we'll take it down the road. We'll see how it drives, um, see if it even has power to drive down the road, and then go from there. Um, I will drive for now. <laughs> I'll let Sydney stay here and record as I go out, and then we'll see what it does. I'll be back. It has no exhaust from, I think it's a cat, or at least a, a test pipe back. So, like right here, <laughs> it's just open exhaust. It's very loud. it outside okay. so it doesn't stink it up in here
little surge. Well, first impressions, it's got power at least. Um, it's cutting out a little bit. I can't tell if that's maybe a throttle position sensor or something, but I mean, just right there, I hit red line, no problem. Uh, it doesn't look like it's smoking. Did you see smoke while I was driving? I mean, I think it's a healthy motor, so whatever it's called. Fast idle throttle valve, FITV, whatever it is. We'll take that out, clean it up. I'm pretty positive that's it. If it's not, we'll just Go to the next thing. Um, that'll at least clear the idle up, and then we can maybe drive it. And um, I know we got fixed the fans. Let me show you this. Previous owner said the water pump is probably bad, which I assume he's saying that because it overheats. But I found this wire. It's kind of sketchy because it's a speaker wire. That's your fan. And when I found this, it was just chilling in there, not doing a damn thing. So, got to fix this ghetto wiring, put it to the right thing, get this fan running properly, get the idle fixed. Um, oh, also, so this is neutral. That's first gear. This is second gear. If you know anything about Hondas, you know this is not in the right spot. It's supposed to be here is neutral. That, like where it's at right now, should be first gear. So I gotta figure out what they what they messed up here. So the next video, we gotta fix the idle surge, the fans, and the shifter linkage. And hopefully, after all that, when you get a good drive in, shift it through all the gears, get it up to speed, and see what else is broken with it. The motor still has to come out regardless because it's leaking really bad. But I'd like to get it ready to go, just so we can drive around town. I mean, if it's leaking, it's leaking, it's whatever. As long as it's healthy, and not stumbling on itself and everything, I'll be happy. So, with all that being said, I hope you liked the video. If you like this type of content, me helping Sydney with her car, teaching her how to work on it, let me know. Let me know what you liked about the video. Also, I still have tons of these shirts. Please go cop some if you like them and want to support the channel. And like always, like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe. And Sydney, see you next time.